scammers or liars mega leg this video that we made it's gotta make you wonder the way we were portrayed <laughs> What is our relationship mm -hmm. with Enkroma? Are we getting secret payments from them that we're not disclosing receipts? The reason why I didn't like follow up with more information. Jonathan omitted very important information that we provided him. I will leave every single one and we will answer every single one of his questions here. Hey guys. Hello guys. So I can't even believe that we are making this kind of video. This is the first time we've ever done something like this mm -hmm. in our eight years on YouTube. If you're not someone from our regular community who watches our videos, we make videos about travel, lifestyle, our life as an international married couple living in Seoul. So before we get into why exactly we're making this video, we need like a little bit of background. And this all stems from this video that we made about a year ago, it's September 2022. So we were in Canada at the time visiting my family. And if you guys didn't already know, Kyuho is colorblind. And yep. we've talked about it on our channel for like years. And a lot of our viewers are like, hey, have you ever heard of those colorblind glasses? Like you guys should try those for Kyuho. Flash forward to 2022, summer in Canada. We were finally like, you know what? Let's go for it. We're in Canada. This is an American company. These Enchroma glasses where we ordered from. Maybe the shipping will be like a little faster, mm -hmm. maybe a little cheaper, and maybe they'll be less likely to get kind of broken in transit since it's a much shorter distance. So we bought them, we ordered them, they arrived. We decided to make a video about Kyuho's experience trying on these glasses mm -hmm. for the first time. And this video is where all of this situation started a year later after we posted it. So basically, there's a channel on YouTube called Megaleg. The person who runs the channel, his name is Jonathan, and he refers to himself as an investigative journalist. He basically made a video claiming that all of these colorblind sunglasses on the market, or colorblind glasses in general, mm -hmm. are scams Stam. and are fake, and every single person on YouTube or social media that has ever reacted to these glasses and tried them and say that they worked are also by default scammers or liars or they're just doing it for the yep. money etc etc and he used a chunk of our video that we released last year insinuating that we are also liars and scammers but we're gonna go into like very specific details when it comes to timelines for stuff mm -hmm. receipts and proof of purchase our own email correspondence all of it with Jonathan, all of our correspondence with Enchroma, and we have no problem sharing that with all you guys because conveniently in his video, Jonathan omitted very important information that we provided him and also made a lot of assumptions based on not enough information about us. That's right, yeah. So that's basically why we kind of have to waste our day today. And have to go to the <laughs> hospital. Oh optometrist yeah uh, by the way it's very difficult for me to speak in english when i'm very stressed especially this kind of like confrontational situation yeah. so sarah's going to be talking most of it so please understand so yeah there's going to be kind of different chapters and parts of this video i hope if you want the facts you watch the whole thing so first of all colorblind glasses what are they? We bought QHOs from Enchroma last summer, August 2022. We ordered on their website and they say that Enchroma glasses are designed to improve color vision of people with forms of anomalous trichomacy, which are estimated to comprise four out of five cases of color blindness. They also clarify that Enchroma lenses are an assistive device intended to aid in color perception and improved color discrimination, but do not give the wearer normal color vision. So long story short, this is absolutely not a cure for color blindness. Yep. Nothing can cure color blindness, mm -hmm. like as of now. But we knew this going in like, okay, cool. It might help him distinguish some colors that he had really difficulty distinguishing before. That's right. And 
maybe even like intensify or bring out other colors that would usually like not pop out、yep. for you. So I spent a couple weeks over the summer doing my research. What I would recommend you do before buying anything: go on Reddit.、Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I was like Enchroma Reddit, and I went through all of these people's posts, and I noticed like some people didn't help them at all. Some people had like just a very mild difference. Some people had mind-blowing differences. Everybody's was different. For some people it works, and for some people it doesn't work. Anyway, we bought them in August sixteenth, two thousand twenty-two. And they arrived in the mail on August twenty-second, twenty twenty-two. I opened it first and took it out of the box to make sure nothing was broken. But you did not try them on. No,、nope. no trying on.、Nope. I just wanted to make sure, like, is this still like in one piece? So it was August twenty-second at that time. And on August twenty fourth, that morning was our flight back to Korea, and it was like, yo, we have like this rest of the day to film this video if we want to film it because we don't have time to do that on the twenty third. It's our last day in Canada. We have to spend time with family.、Mm -hmm. Filming is like not a priority, so it was either now or never. So we scooted down to like my favorite local park and took the glasses with us. We had no idea if we were going to use this video or not. This. Video was a just in case video、mm -hmm. for us. A video we film in case we end up using it, especially when we come back to Korea from Canada、yeah. and are like recovering from jet lag and are way too tired to like film content in like real time because it's a twelve hours difference. Like we're exhausted,、mm -hmm. so we wanted to have like possibly one video in the bank when we got back to Korea to kind of like share and hopefully、mm -hmm. it would turn out good, but. We had no clue. At the park, obviously, I was super nervous. I didn't even know whether these sunglasses were gonna work or not. No, I know. Like even in the video, we say like we're trying to keep our expectations not too high. Color perception is a very subjective thing. So like、yeah. one person's experience isn't gonna be like the same for anybody else, and、mm -hmm. maybe for you and your type, it's not gonna work. <laughs> like we just like wasted our money, right? But、um, as you saw the video, I did wear them, and it was just mind blowing. For me, because it worked for me,、mm. and I cried. There's no any acting. It's just my genuine emotion. For me, what it looked like was、uh, red color, as I explained it before. But like somebody just turned the lights on for me, and it started to glow. It's very emotional. In that video, we did show comparisons in like different images. Like what Kuho sees、yep. and what a normal vision person sees side by side, he can't distinguish those、mm. two images. You can kind of get like a very rough idea of like the type of red he sees, but it's just a very dull brownish brick、mm -hmm. red, not like a bright vivid red that、mm -hmm. you could finally kind of perceive when the berries. That's right. That's what was shocking you—the berries. Yeah, those berries. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, my experience was genuine. I was grateful that these colorblind sunglasses worked for me. So we're gonna pause it at this point because there's a very important part at the end of our video that was brought into question by Jonathan in his video. But like, we will explain that and get into it in detail. But first, that was the video that he is. Saying is basically untrue, and you faked it, or you're a paid actor, or like whatever it is he was trying to insinuate. All right, so fast forward a year later to September 2023. Me and Kyu Ho and his mom and dad are all in Vietnam in Ta Nang on like a little family holiday because it's Chu Sok holiday in Korea, which is one of the two major holidays in Korea, and. On September twenty ninth, twenty twenty three, while we're like you know enjoying our family time together, an email pops up, and it's from this name called like Megalag. So I'm not gonna read every part from the emails out loud, but I will leave every single one of our emails and our whole correspondence here. You guys can pause and read all of them if you want to. We did notice that Jonathan did not provide all of these emails in his video, and we want to leave them there for. Transparency,、mm -hmm. basically. So he basically reached out to us.、Uh, my name is Jonathan. I'm an investigative journalist, 
and he's talking about colorblind sunglasses. I found that claims made by Enchroma are not supported by multiple scientific clinical studies. And then he talks about how content creators earning revenue by promoting these products have been a significant contributing factor in perpetuating what my research suggests for the most part is a scam. Your video featuring Qho trying on Enchroma glasses will be highlighted in my series for the following reasons. So he says, immediately after Qho tried on the Enchroma glasses, you discussed having both an affiliate link and custom coupon code for Enchroma suggesting prior coordination with the company before even trying on the glasses. And two, Enchroma has been actively advertising your reaction video on social media, raising questions about your relationship with the company. Three, given these points, I believe your video promoting Enchroma glasses appears to be staged, particularly due to the clear monetization strategy. Then he leaves a list of questions. How did you come to have a custom coupon code for Enchroma before trying the glasses? Was this arranged in advance? Can you clarify the nature of your relationship with Enchroma? Would you be willing to provide a proof of purchase of these glasses? And then this part comes in and I was like, what on earth? You have 72 hours from the receipt of this email to indicate your intent to respond. Following that, you'll have one week to either provide a written reply or agree to an on the record call to discuss these claims and questions. If I do not receive a confirmation within a 72 hour window, I'll proceed with the video, noting that you were given an opportunity to comment but did not do so. That ultimatum, first of all, was like a little weird. Mm -hmm. And like, he says he's an investigative journalist, but right away, it just gives off the feeling like, you know, it's a very much like he had already made up his mind about us, not something like, yo, I find these companies are a little bit sketchy and I'm interviewing people who have tried out their glasses to kind of see their perspectives on things. Would you like to kind of talk about and like comment on your experience? Not like, I think that your video is staged. Here's my deadline for the time to reply. I was like, oh my God, like I'm not used to this kind of like confrontation. I was kind of like really upset. I replied, you can pause and read my whole email here. I said, no, like we just do their affiliate program, which we applied for ourselves. And I said, you don't have permission to use our content in any way. Now, this is also what I sent to him in the email. You remember that he requested in his first email, if I could send him a receipt, proof of purchase, no problem. I sent it over, taking out our info mm -hmm. and emailed it back to him. Like that's the receipt for the glasses that we ordered mm -hmm. for you. And he responded back. I just find it hard to believe Qho trod on the glasses, had an emotional reaction. You looked into them and were approved for an affiliate program, all within what appears to be a walk through the park. And then he basically suggests like, are you saying you just uh, wore the same clothes and went the next day and like filmed it? Clarification on the timeline events would be appreciated. Even better, providing dates with proof for your application to the affiliate program and the date it was approved would be great. And then he goes on again about, you know, Enchroma's advertising, why are they using your video? And he says, personally, I don't know of any influencers in my circle that allow companies to profit from their content free of charge, please clarify. And then also he asks, could you please provide proof of purchase for the second pair too? So like, if you want to just, why didn't he just ask that for the first email? Mm -hmm. Like you asked for proof of purchase, I sent it, and then you come back with the second email. Oh, can I also have your affiliate link, uh, the date that you applied for it? And can you send me the proof of purchase for the second pair too? And then he says, finally, I do not require your permission to use your content. The use of copyrighted material for journalism, criticism, and news reporting is protected under the doctrine of fair use. Fair enough, maybe that's true. And then he says, any attempt to misuse YouTube's copyright claim system to take down my content will be met with legal action. I like saw that email, I was like, okay. Even I got a red flag from the first email. This person already has this preconceived idea. Yep of who we are, what he thinks we did, what our intentions are. First of all, why would I waste my vacation time typing out all this stuff and going through all like my history, making screen caps to send to him when I feel like no matter what I do, it's never gonna be good enough. He's exactly. gonna keep asking for more. Like I, it honestly wouldn't have surprised me if he even asked for like a medical proof certificate that you're colorblind. Like it was just starting to get ridiculous. So it was at that point where I was just like, you know what? I mean, we're not gonna get anywhere with this guy. Let's just disengage from this conversation. I said like, it was obvious from your first rather hostile and accusatory email that you already had your mind made up about us. So 
you know, honestly, why should we bother? All the best. To which he replies, my objective is to ensure accurate and ethical reporting. So when his video actually came out, that little line there, but we will also get into that later, and we will answer every single one of his questions here yeah. in our video. Yes. So probably one of the top comments, especially, you know, viewers of his community are wondering is like, why don't we just reply to his emails? Mm -hmm. Why don't we just answer all of his comments? And there's obviously a few reasons for that. Number one, from the very beginning, it was very, very obvious that he was incredibly biased towards us and he already had like his mind made up mm -hmm. about who we are and what we supposedly did. And second, even though I took the time to reply to the first email and I attached our receipt and proof of purchase, he then suddenly thought of like, more things that he wanted to request mm -hmm. like you know the date you applied for the affiliate link and what about the receipt for your second glasses like why didn't you just ask for that in the first email from the way you reacted to my reply it kind of seems like you didn't expect us to have actually paid for the glasses but it just felt really off now before answering all the questions here that he has in his email and clarifying all these things like the affiliate link timeline and you know the nchroma using our ads and stuff we want to show the part of the video where he basically features us and says this stuff about us. Dishonest influencers, fraud, you name it. Turns out all those viral videos were just a colorful smokescreen for what is actually a giant scam. And then there was also this. Inside this box are glasses that will fix my color blindness. Thanks. Then three years later, this. So I put on these glasses. Bro, oh, no change. What do I just, I have to fake this. <laughs> Shocking. But even more concerning was that some influencers were profiting from their over the top reactions. A great example is this recent video by the creators Two Hearts One Soul, a creator couple from South Korea. Step one, boyfriend tries on the glasses. Step two, emotional reaction. Step three, the tears start flowing. And step four, advertise an affiliate link. I signed up for their affiliate program. We have a link and we have a code for 10% off of them. And if you buy them, we get a very like small commission percentage. Wait a minute. So she signed up for the affiliate program and got a custom coupon code from Enchroma before they even knew whether or not the glasses would work. Seems to me that they were planning on making money from these glasses, regardless of the outcome. The couple also claim they're not sponsored by Enchroma, uh, again, it's not sponsored. But... However, Enchroma has been using their content as advertising material yep. on Instagram and Facebook. Now, I can tell you right now, most influencers will not allow companies to do this without some form of payment. And judging by the hashtag Enchroma, well, it's gotta make you wonder. Now, after reaching out to the couple for comment, they came out swinging in defense of their video, insisting they only signed up for the affiliate program after being impressed by the glasses. But I'm struggling to understand how they managed to apply and get approval for this affiliate program in the midst of shooting their video at the park. The timeline doesn't add up. They also claim Enchroma hasn't paid them a dime besides affiliate commission, yet they conveniently dodged my questions about why Enchroma was using their content as advertising material. Concluding the email, I was given a stern warning that I'm not to use their content in any way. Oops. It's worth it. Worth it. Regardless, in the interest of fairness, I invited them to back up their story with proof of some dates, you know, for the affiliate registration. But no, apparently I was too hostile and accusatory, so they felt, why bother? <sighs> but despite all these concerning videos, they were- Interesting. Yep. So, did you notice a couple of things there that are a little bit off. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, they dodged my questions about the Enchroma using their stuff and like the affiliate link timeline and blah, blah, blah. We will get into that. Don't worry, we have all the answers. Basically seeing that clip completely validated what I was thinking from the beginning of his email, yep. in which he already had his mind made up about us. Mm -hmm. And he was just going to cherry pick Mm -hmm. Every single thing we probably would have sent him. Where's our receipt? We did send the receipt, our proof of purchase, but conveniently, 
He didn't put it. He chose to omit. Mm -hmm. And also, I thought it was really strange that he wasn't totally transparent about the emails at all. The way we were portrayed in this part of the video was just this very tasteless mocking style. I was given a stern warning that I'm not to use the content in any way. Oops. It just feels very, just not very professional. But like the number one thing we were thinking was like, we sent him the receipt. We did. Where is it? Obviously, by not showing the receipt and saying, oh, they didn't answer my questions about this and they dodged my questions about this and they came out swinging. Of course, it makes us look like liars. Mm -hmm. You didn't even include like the most important thing that we sent you. The reason why I didn't like follow up with more information, we were on vacation. It's Chuseok holiday. I'm yep. not wasting my time like writing a really long email, but I just assumed like if I've got like my proof of purchase and I send you my receipt, but you're accusing us of having a relationship with Enchroma prior to you trying the glasses, mm -hmm. prior to us making that video, why on earth would we have spent our own money <laughs> on the glasses and have the receipt that proves we spent our own money on the glasses? You stated that also, I don't know any influencers who let companies use their content on their socials or marketing purposes, but we don't know any influencers who would work with a company where the company makes you pay for their own product. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. Also, I will get into more about the affiliate link and the timeline and like why it is looking like that yep. later. But like, if we did have an affiliate link in advance before we bought the glasses or before you tried the glasses, again, the receipt we paid full price for those glasses. Our affiliate link has a 10% off discount. If we were really doing this video that was completely just about the money, why wouldn't we have signed up for the affiliate link first, applied our own discount code to our purchase, mm -hmm. and then gotten the 10% off discount ourselves? Mm -hmm. So yeah, my on vacation mind just kind of assumed like, yo, this guy's like smart, he'll get it. Like if I send the receipt, he'll kind of connect the dots. But no, I was like, oh my God, like no matter what I say, this is just, he's gonna cherry pick, which is exactly what he did in his video when he didn't share all the emails, mm -hmm. was not transparent about the fact that we did provide the proof of purchase receipt that he asked about. Mm -hmm. So we are actually gonna open up his emails and we're gonna go through each and every one of his questions and clarify and show the receipts literally, cause we have like more than one. Yep. yep. So yeah, let's get into this. All right, so again, if I have to repeat myself, I'm sorry, but the reason why we didn't answer all of these questions, we were on vacation, quite frankly, we didn't really trust him. We were worried he would kind of cherry pick with our information we provided, which was true. Questions for you. Did you receive any form of compensation from Enchroma besides affiliate commissions? If so, why wasn't this disclosed in your video? This is also connected to his question. Please clarify why Enchroma is advertising your video on social media. Was permission granted to Enchroma to use your video for their marketing? Basically, it's starting out, what is our relationship? Mm -hmm with Enchroma. Are we getting secret payments from them that we're not disclosing because they are using our content, sharing in their socials and using in their advertising stuff? Mm -hmm. The answer is no, no. no, absolutely not. And they actually reached out to us a little while after we posted that YouTube video. Mm -hmm. I posted a reel on Instagram and they messaged us. And they said, guys, thanks so much for sharing your video and posting about your experience. Could I ask whether you'd be okay in us reposting and using it in our marketing? As a thank you, I could send you a pair of our indoor glasses. Yep. And I replied, we're totally fine with you reposting our content on Enchroma socials. As for using it in your marketing, may we ask what exactly that would entail? And then he also was like insinuating that we were getting money from Enchroma aside from affiliate links. Mm -hmm. And judging by the hashtag Enchroma, well, it's got to make you wonder. Whether it was for, I don't know, the video that we made or because of the them sharing our content and their marketing and stuff, yeah. or maybe both, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. But I know that they don't do anything like this because I even pitched, I shot my shot and I asked them, hey, does Enchroma ever do 
any brand deals or sponsorships with creators. Many of our viewers expressed interest in a video, like a series of us experiencing various places, like using the glasses. Uh, we'd love to work together on something if it's a possibility. Yeah, we tried, guys. I shot my shot. And then this person replies, like, they're going to, like, double check and keep me posted about, you know, how they'd be using our content and their stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then they say, we do work with influencers, but sadly at the moment is for product only and mm -hmm. via our affiliate product. We'd love to work with you, obviously, but for now it could just be product only giveaways, sadly. Cool. Didn't work out, I tried it. So long story short, yes, we absolutely gave them permission mm -hmm. to use our content in that way. And for another pair, gifted of the glasses, mm -hmm. not money. Uh, Kyuho chose another pair of sunglasses of the style that he really liked. It was kind of like the aviator style ones yes. that you've probably seen yeah. him wear. Yeah. It was nice to get another pair of glasses, you love them. Mm -hmm. Second of all, we thought, hey, you know, maybe our channel will get like a little exposure if they're like putting it out there. And well, lo and behold, it did. It has over 700,000 views, and now we're in this position making this video, so it was like a double-edged sword. Just realized we forgot to address the whole hashtag use. And judging by the hashtag and chroma, well, it's got to make you wonder. So as you've already seen from our messages with Enchroma, no, like they weren't paying us for that video. That video wasn't sponsored. I just made that choice myself because... I wanted our video to like get out there and we're a relatively small channel that just figured maybe this will help ours, you know, give a little bit of an edge. That was it. So the affiliate timing question. So before I even get into that, I think a lot of viewers are also very confused about what is sponsored content mm -hmm. and what is an affiliate link. So sponsored content is usually when you work with a brand, you collaborate, and they pay you usually like a flat fee for either like an integration within a video mm -hmm. or the entire video is dedicated to their product and they pay you a flat fee for that. That's right. That was not the case in our video. It was not sponsored. We had and signed up for their affiliate program ourselves. What that means is sometimes with products that we really like, you can sign up for it. If you get accepted, mm -hmm. you get your own custom link and your code for your viewers to use if they're interested too. Yep. So your viewers will usually get a discount, like around like 10% usually, and mm -hmm. that's pretty standard for affiliate Yeah, links. I think so, yeah. And then the creators, us, we get like a small commission. So we tried on those glasses, filmed that bit, mm -hmm. walked around the park a bit. We were like, oh my God, you know, this is not what I expected at all. Yeah, I was just sitting down. There are a lot of things to take in. During that time, Sarah asked, like, I don't know whether they have any affiliate link or that they do any affiliate yeah, programs. Yeah, that kind of program. Yeah. yeah. Like, these are awesome. Like, yeah. you know, they were so excited that they work for you so well. Yes. I was like, wow, what? I wonder if they have an affiliate program. Mm -hmm. And we looked it up. And they did. They had an affiliate program. I was like, oh my God, like this is so cool. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I wish that we had found someone who had this link before so we could have used their 10% exactly. off discount. But anyway, so we were like, okay, okay, we're going to apply for this and like see if we get accepted. But we've applied for affiliate programs before. Like you don't just get accepted within mm -hmm. like 15 minutes or like an hour or something. Like sometimes it takes 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a week. So we were like, okay, we know we definitely want to apply for their affiliate program, we can make a little passive income mm -hmm. and any viewers who are interested can get a discount from them. For mm -hmm. a product that like we really love, like you were super excited about and worked yeah. great for you. So we decided let's try to apply for their affiliate program. But obviously we didn't apply for it then. Mm -hmm. So we were like, let's do the old just in case shot. Because mm -hmm. uh, while editing, if it doesn't work out, then we can just edit that part out. We decided to apply for the affiliate program. And you know what? If we get accepted in the future, yeah. we can maybe use this clip. So how about mm -hmm. we just film now like we do have affiliate link right now. Even if we didn't even apply at that moment. No. You know, like we've been doing this for like eight years. Yeah. And we've run into situations where we're like, damn it, we should have filmed that just in case. Yes. So we filmed it just in case. And also, we filmed it just in case because literally the day after next, we were going back to Canada. Mm -hmm. So, like, for the cohesiveness of the video, it's kind of weird if we're, like, in a park in Canada having this experience. And then, like, it cuts to our affiliate link bit here. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice 
I didn't verbalize what our discount code was. We have a link and we have a code for 10% off of them. And if you buy them, we get a very like small commission percentage. Yeah. And that's we, because we, we didn't, didn't have, have it. it. When you're filming a video, the overlay text doesn't appear in real time. I added that in post-production a couple weeks later. We posted that video on September 11th, yeah. 2022. Yeah, when we were and, in Korea. Yeah, when we were in Korea. We filmed the video mm -hmm. on August 22nd, mm -hmm. 2022. So within that time, geez, we didn't even apply for that affiliate link until we got back to Korea. Yeah, we did. We had too much going on. Yeah. But I remember that I was accepted on like September 1st or 2nd. It was one of those days. And now is the only piece of evidence that we don't have. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason for it. So we don't have like the confirmation email of when we joined Enchroma's affiliate link program. Because like honestly, those kind of confirmation emails, like, you know, congratulations, you're now blah, blah, blah. I always delete those. I never keep that kind of stuff. The second reason why we can't get that exact date is because when we signed up, for Enchroma's affiliate program. It was in September 2022. Mm -hmm. At that time, their affiliate program was different. Yes. So it was basically hosted on within the Enchroma website. They had like this little, you know, affiliates like login yes. within their website. So that's where like, you know, you could see like if anyone makes a sale and if anyone makes returns because, you know, they have mm -hmm. a 60 day return policy. So obviously we don't get that as commission. Mm -hmm. You could just go from there mm -hmm. and it was great, easy to use, just mm -hmm. really intuitive and simple. And then Enchroma changed their affiliate program. Yeah. So they totally changed it. Basically, as I said, it used to be hosted on their website. Mm -hmm. I've got the little screen cap email here, which I can leave on the screen for you guys. So it says Enchroma is moving its affiliate program to Commission Junction CJ. So I, I guess that's like a really popular online site that manages affiliate links or something. So, yeah. So I got this email on October 5th, 2022, and they're moving to the platform on October 21st, 2022. So like, that's the only kind of record I have in there because it literally doesn't exist mm -hmm. anymore yeah. on Enchroma's it's website. Gone. It's gone. Like, I wish it wasn't because it was so much better because the CJ, yeah. it's just really like glitchy and like not comfortable yeah. to use. I obviously don't have that for the date, but again, rewind back to the receipt mm -hmm. and proof of purchase that we had. If we were secretly working with Enchroma, you wouldn't have paid. why would we have paid full price? And if we had signed up for that affiliate link in advance before you tried the sunglasses, if we were smart, we would have signed up even before we got the glasses, waited until we were approved, use our own discount code for 10% off, mm -hmm. then order the, the glasses. Yeah. So that's the best of the yeah. receipts that we have here. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and also in uh, Jonathan's other follow-up email, um, he first only asked us about, you know, do you have a receipt that you can share? I was like, sure, I sent it. He wanted more. So we said, um, I appreciate your confirmation regarding the purchase of the first pair of Enchroma glasses. Could you please provide proof of purchase for the second pair too? Never gonna end. I know. Um, I don't have the same kind of receipt as I do for the first pair that we bought Kyoho because like we actually purchased those mm -hmm. with our own money. Yeah. But I'll show again the messages that I have with Enchroma in our little Instagram chat about them gifting us a pair of their glasses in return for us giving mm -hmm. them permission to like share our content and like use it in some of the promotional things. By the way, guys, uh, these are my new sunglasses. Yeah, gifted ones. Yeah. I also have a third pair of Enchroma glasses. We got gifted by our viewer. Yeah, she's somebody who like I talk to in our Instagram chats quite a bit. And I don't have the receipt, but I have the screen cap she sent me of her receipt mm -hmm. when she ordered it and sent them to us. I'm obviously not going to show her personal information, yep. but I'll show you like where she wrote that. Uh, to sum it up, the first pair we bought with our own money. Mm -hmm. It wasn't given to us by Enchroma and we didn't use an affiliate code on it. The second pair, again, are a gift from our lovely viewer. Mm -hmm. um, she sent them over to us. The third pair, those are the ones that were 
given to us mm -hmm. by Enchroma mm -hmm. as a thank you for us agreeing to say, yes, mm -hmm. you can repost our content and you can use it in some of your ads. You also will see Kyuho wearing another pair of sunglasses that are not in any way related to Enchroma. Those are your prescription sunglasses that you wear for driving. That's right. Usually. Yes. Yeah. So basically when we got the Enchroma glasses ourselves, we were scared that they wouldn't work for him. So we mm -hmm. weren't going to shell out more money mm -hmm. on the prescription when we're already like not sure. So when he's driving, mm -hmm. he usually wears like those ones because you're in addition to being colorblind, your eyesight's pretty bad. That's right. I have a lot of problems with my eyes. <laughs> those are like his main questions, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I forgot anything, I'll just like zoom back in on this video, like with my little mic later. Yeah. But I think those are like the main questions and accusations that yeah. he like made. We are not uh, scientists or mm -hmm. color vision specialists. We aren't Enchroma staff. We don't get secret money like funneled to us. Some people think wearing these colorblind sunglasses, they think it will cure colorblindness. These glasses enhances the colors that I had difficulty seeing before. When I wear them, then I, I can just differentiate. Yeah. And th for me, that's a huge deal in no way did we ever say in our videos these cure color blindness these work for everyone the thing that upsets me the most is he is saying that my experience is a lie it's a very subjective thing it's one thing to like question what the companies are doing mm -hmm. but it's a totally different thing to make this bold claim that every single video of everybody who had experiences with these glasses mm -hmm. is a liar. How do we know you're not lying exactly. about your experience when you put on the glasses? Exactly. Like, Jonathan didn't show the style of glasses that he ordered, or we don't know if they were outdoor, were they indoor? That's not really explained. Yeah, I also have indoor glasses and I tried them. Right. They're not as dynamic as the outdoor sunglasses. Yeah, and Chroma specifies that their outdoor sunglasses are like for the most dynamic effect. Yes. We noticed that in his comment section, a lot of his viewers were asking, why didn't you try to do the colorblind test after mm -hmm. you tried the glasses on just to see if there would be a difference? Kyuho did it mm -hmm. just, you know, just for fun at the doctor. Yeah. And we actually asked the doctor some questions about these kinds of glasses and how they work and all that. And that's right.
요만 보실까요? 네. 없어요. 따로 없어요. 요거는요. 요것도 없어요. 요거는요. 없어요. 요것도 이거 없이. 아, 21. 정글라스가 있긴 해요. 네, 정글라스. 이거 끼고 한번 해봐도 되나요? 어, 상관없죠. 볼수 있는 건가요? 어쩔 수 없지, 네. 크로마젠 선글라스예요, 그죠? 뭐 그런 데를 써주시. 이렇게 보고 왼쪽 눈 가려주시고 이렇게 가르치면 내가 보시면 칠, 오, 육, 삼. 일단 응. 시력이 안 돼가지고 안 보여요. 두수 없는 거예요? 네, 두수 없어요. 아, 두수 없어요. 아, 가지. 아, 사이즈. 이거 쓰고 그 위에다가 그서 네, 네, 네. 데려나 모르겠는데. 여기 한번 먼저 네, 하시겠어요? 살짝 먼저. 어, 예. 네. 아, 하시면. 이거는요. 아, 74. 이것도 이거 혹시? 아, 21. 15. 이거는 안 보여요. 이것도 이거 보시면 4. 이거는요? 이것도 안 보여요. 나한테 좀 나눠주시고 잘안 네. 보여요. 이것도 이거 보시면 시작할 때 15년 74. 주시면 되고요. 이제 보렌지를 끼면은 네. 어느 정도 조금 더 아까보다는 구별은 가능하셔요. 네. 근데 완벽하지 않은 이유가 뭐냐면은 얘는 그 파장 중간 파장 때문에 뚝뚝 잘라서 네. 이 파장 이 파장 구분을 잘하게 해주고 이 파장 이 파장 구분을 잘하게 해주고 그런 문제가 있다 보니까 요거랑 요거랑 구분이 되는데 요 사이에서 구분이 잘안 되는 거는 어쩔 수가 없어요. 요거는 원래 안 되던 건안 되는 것도 있고 네네. 더 말고 자른 파장 중간 좌우에 있는 것들은 구별이 가능해서. 아까 못 읽은 것이 못 읽으신 거는 어느 정도 좀 읽으신 거는 이렇게 더 생기거든요. 네네네. 일단은 전반적으로 생각이 기시기는 하고. 네네. It's not like it's a big shocker that you're colorblind, but I know. <laughs> So in order to find out the exact type of color blindness, I have to go to these big university hospitals, which will take about three to five months waiting. So, I mean, I already know that I'm color blind. In general. In general, yes. Like I don't need uh, all that thorough testing. Uh, yeah, we were just doing it to prove that, like, for anyone who's questioning. Whether is this guy actually called blind or not? 검사 결과를 보시면 다른 음, 거는 전반적으로 다 떨어져 있어요 감도가 물론 안경을 끼면은 되지만 네, 네, 네. 근데 이거를 이렇게 자세하게 디테일하게 타입을 구분하는 게 사실 별로 큰 의미는 없습니다 이게 네. 어쨌든 지금도 그래서 이제 크로마그래스를 쓰고 있잖아요 네, 쓰면 네. 좀 올라가죠 이제 네. 색깔 구분하는 게 네, 네, 네. 음, 저희 병원에서는 지금 어, 적하고 로그는 그래도 어느 정도 구분하는 기능이 있긴 있는데. 근데 그게 좀 저, 전반적으로 기능은 떨어져 있다고 봐야 돼요. 네. 그러니까 색맹까지는 아니고 네. 색약이다. 그렇게 네. 보면 될것 같습니다. 네. 이제 그 색깔 안경을 끼시면 그래도 조금 어느 정도 구분들을 좀 하시기 때문에 네. 뭐 지금처럼 그냥 일단 안경을 끼면서 지내는데 우리가 이제 망막에 있는 원뿔 세포라는 게 이제 애초에 처음부터 결손이 되어 있는 경우는 네. 아직까지 그거를 의학적으로 이제 보완을 할수 있는 어떤 기술적인 방법은 없어요. 사실은. 네. 그래서 현재로서는 이제 안경화의 도움을 받으시면서 지내실 네. 수밖에 없고 이 파, 빛의 파장이 있잖아요 네. 그걸 일부 좀 이렇게 분절을 시켜요 빛의 파장을 이 분절을 시킨 파장이 눈 속에 들어오면서 강조가 되기 때문에 어느 정도 보완이 좀 되는 겁니다 그런 원리예요 네. 색깔 안경이라는 거 네. 네. 여길 전환부라 부르는데 각막이라든가 네. 앞에 수정체라든가 홍체 이런 쪽은 다 이상이 없어요 네. 괜찮으세요? 이 이상 소견이 계속 유지는 될 거예요 네. 근데 뭐 그게 네. 변화는 없을 거고 그 눈에 큰 구조적인 문제는 없으니까 그냥 지금 원래 지내시던 대로만 지내시면 되겠습니다. 네. 네. 
특별히 뭐더 여기서 뭐 처방을 하거나 이런 일은 없었던 것 같아요. 알겠습니다. 네. Another thing I noticed when he was going on about, you know, the like dishonest influencers kind of portion, and mm -hmm. he's talking about us, and I mean, I believe Logan Paul was also mm -hmm. uh, put in there, very different kinds of content. But um, I was curious about Logan Paul's video because supposedly Logan Paul went on air, like on this podcast, and admitted, like, oh, they didn't make a difference at all for mm -hmm. me. So I put on these glasses. Bro, no change. What do I just, I have to fake this. <laughs> so, I was like, I was like, <gasps> so I was curious about his video because I'd never watched it. Mm -hmm. But when I searched, I saw there's two videos. I was like, what? One was from seven years ago. The one that shows up in Jonathan's video. And when I looked at the video, like even the thumbnail, I was like, is he wearing the indoor glasses? Because mm -hmm. they look like the indoor glasses that you have. Because mm -hmm. we have both. So like... You know, the sunglasses lenses are a lot more opaque, yep. but the indoor glasses are like much more transparent. That's right. So I was like, well, of course there wouldn't be that big of a difference if you're using the indoor glasses outside. But again, I'm not sure which ones he was using, but I also clicked on his most recent video, mm -hmm. the one from three years ago. And I found this kind of weird that that wasn't included in Megalag's video mm -hmm. because he did bring up Logan Paul. And in this video, I think what he was doing was kind of a, a parody mm -hmm. on his first video. Because, like, by that time, he came out and, like, everybody knew that he kind of lied about his, his experience with the first one. And right. he was just going to record a parody. But maybe he's faking again and maybe he's acting. But he puts them on. And he's like, whoa, whoa. Like, this was supposed to be a joke at first. But, like, you know, it's actually really pretty. Wow, this was a joke at first, but it actually is... Wow, oh man. I'm gonna be honest, even I remember in the video I made last time, I wasn't like faking it. I was just exaggerating it. I didn't need to cry and shit, but it really is pretty. Like the blues are much more vivid. The oranges are much more vivid. Yeah. So it looks like in the first one, he might have been using the indoor glasses outside, which really wouldn't do much. Right. But in the second more recent video, three years ago, he's using the proper sunglasses outside like you're supposed to do. Very true. But I was really surprised why Jonathan only picked the first very old video, because it wasn't hard for me to find those. Yeah. So after feeling like more uncomfortable with his kind of style of accusations as the emails went on, like we chose to disengage. He writes back, this is like the last email, like I didn't respond to this one. He says, my objective is to ensure accurate and ethical reporting. Now seeing like that video, like, look, I'm only talking about like us, like our segment. I again, can't speak for like companies and like comment things like mm -hmm. he was going on about like how they're only posting mm -hmm. uh, the positive comments but like to me that wasn't really a shocker because i just assume like all retail online stores do that and whenever i buy something i just go to reddit mm -hmm. or something to get kind of more real reviews right. it's, i don't think that's a shocking thing in the online shopping industry is it shitty yeah but my objective is to ensure accurate and ethical reporting uh for our section or like our case we really don't feel like it was accurate at all. Sure, we didn't answer every single one of your questions, but omitting something like our proof of purchase, mm -hmm. the receipt for the item that you asked for, was a very interesting choice. And if you flag my video, I'm gonna take legal action against you. And also like, even if we said specifically, do not use, yeah, that's the part that got me. And the reason why we like requested like you don't have permission to use our video is because we knew mm -hmm. exactly what would happen. Yeah. No matter what we'd say mm -hmm. and what information we provided him, he would cherry pick, yes. which he did in his video. And as a result, we would get an onslaught of hateful comments mm -hmm. on our channel. Yep. He put us in that video and edited in that way and omitted that, I don't think there's any way that you couldn't have known that we would receive all this hate from people who are watching that video. I want to ask you, Jonathan, like, don't you think that maybe sunglasses just doesn't work for you? Your experience can't speak for everybody. 
And same for me too. Very like true. because it works for me, I can't say like, oh, it works for everybody. Right. Like we've only ever said in our videos, they work great for Qho. Yes. And like we also filmed through the Enchroma lenses that we have to kind of show what it looks like. It's a little bit close, but I don't think it's completely accurate to like when it's to your eyes. Yeah. I try them on too. I know what they look like. No matter what, like if you film it through a camera, like the color is going to be altered. I start to differentiate the color. And for me, it seemed like a new color, like especially right. red. Yeah. Because I've only thought red is just really dark and dull and not so pretty my entire life. When I wear these glasses, colors pop out like normally that I can't usually see. That's why it was kind of quite shocking for me. And how can you say my experience, what I saw is a lie and I'm a scammer? Like, I don't know. Your experience is your experience. Yes. And his experience is his experience. And you know, there's different types of color blindness and different severities of color yes. blindness. And I'm sorry it worked for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know, what, what am I supposed to do here? Like, it's as simple as that. Yeah. And for me, yeah, it was emotional. So I cried, that's it. I don't know why we have to go through and make this kind of video even to defend ourselves. Like it was your experience and this was my experience. That's it. And whoever who is not colorblind people talking and just writing really negative comments in our channel, yeah. like you don't know what I had to go through. I even had to give up a job. Like, do you even know how sometimes like, you know, frustrating it is to be a colorblind person and, and calling me a liar? That's why we went, we took the time today to actually go to the eye doctors because like based on the comments and how low they were, we knew that based on the people coming from his community, even if we make this video answering all his questions, there's going to be people saying, you're probably lying about being colorblind. Yeah. It was just ridiculous the lengths that we've had to go through to say no you're wrong about us mm -hmm. what you experienced and our intentions yep. the viewers in that community are obviously used to like kind of investigative journalism and what did he say being accurate and ethical reporting and it's shocking to me that most people didn't take a step back and say like, wait, like, why didn't he just include all the email correspondence with them? Mm -hmm. Like, what did he have to hide from that? This whole experience has been incredibly stressful. We've been consistently receiving harassment, spamming comments, being called names from this mega lag community. So to be clear, like we are not here to defend all of these colorblind glasses companies themselves like all we know is that the product worked great for him because these glasses happen to work great for Qho and they've had like a huge impact on his life yeah we have an affiliate link with them mm -hmm. we also have an affiliate link with some other brands that we really like and use That's to right. make a little bit of like passive income mm -hmm. we're always completely forward about what an affiliate link is. We have a link and we have a code for 10% off of them. And if you buy them, we get a very like small commission percentage. If we like it enough, if they have a program, we're like, hey, why not like leave it in there? Like we have the potential to make a little bit of passive income and viewers on our channel get a discount. I also use other YouTubers affiliate codes sometimes when I wanna like try something out cause you get a discount. I know we've said this million times, but Colorblind glasses doesn't work the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. Or might not work at all. Yes, everybody's different, different color blindness even. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're someone who's looking into buying any brand of colorblind glasses, don't just watch our video and buy them. Don't just watch Megalag's video and believe that. I would personally, as I mentioned, go on Reddit. There's all kinds of info there and you can make a little more of an informed decision for yourself. That video comment section, some people are saying, yeah, yeah. it worked for me. I know, yeah. I noticed that. Even in his comment section, like granted, there are a lot of people who are saying, yeah, I always knew they were a scam or I tried them and they didn't do anything for me and that's mm -hmm. their experience. Yeah. But I noticed there was also comments of people who said, actually, like these helped me differentiate colors. And, mm -hmm. and there was this one standout comment 
that like kind of perfectly encompasses what like I was feeling but I'm not eloquent enough to like be able to come up with. I will leave all of this comment, it's pretty long, but so basically this person has a medical background and colorblindness runs in their family. He says or she says, if people make stupid videos with faked emotional reactions, that may be deceptive. But your video here seems to be deceptive too. It feels like you are going overboard to declare a legitimate medical product a scam just so that you can capitalize on the clickbait potential of your video. A pair of crutches allows a person to walk again who couldn't before. It doesn't turn them into a dancing Fred Astaire. Get over yourself and be more realistic about what a medical product can and cannot do. It really feels like we were just kind of like a pawn in that video. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like we're real people. We're not simply tools for you to use in your video at our expense just to prove a point that you happen to think is correct. Yeah. We're not saying like, oh yeah, you're wrong about all these companies. Quite frankly, we have no idea. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, I don't think you did enough research on it either to come to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. I think more research needs to be done like on a much broader scale. Basically, how we want to end this is just to express that we're really disappointed. How he chose to portray us mm -hmm. in this video without knowing enough information and by omitting key information, yep. like in those two ways. Mm -hmm. Like we are not a tool to help you go viral. And that's exactly how we felt. Mm -hmm. And we didn't feel like that was accurate nor ethical. Mm -hmm. And we just, um, creator to creator, we're just super disappointed. I know like added. not everybody's gonna believe Oh, no, I don't expect that like either. like what we did, that's the sad part because... Because they already have that bias from the first video. Exactly. One thing that really bothers me is like a lot of people who watch his video will not even get to see our reply to it. It's yeah. just one-sided and they watch it and they think like, oh, those two are pieces of shit. And there's nothing that we can do about it because yeah. that's how he put us out there. I wonder if like even if we didn't have the affiliate link on there, would he still have included you in that like you know all those clips of people like reacting like you're still a scammer basically probably you dared yeah to have that experience yeah um again i'm sorry it worked for me i know i'm like laughing right now but like honestly it's been so stressful like this is just how i react to stress yeah sorry like we didn't really sleep well so yeah. i don't even know what i'm saying right now and my voice is kind of like my too i'm done but uh, just please, the one message I want to put out there for everybody, before passing judgment on a person, before calling them names and spewing hate and making up your mind, please first get both sides of the story. It's so, so mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Hold off a little until you know what the full picture is. Mm -hmm. In Korea, we say it, uh, put it in neutral gear and listen. Oh, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? Put it in a neutral No, 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 in like Korean. A... <laughs> I don't know, I'm tired. Yeah, okay, I'm tired too. My voice hurts so bad. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you watched all, all this. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.